Hi guys, so this is going to be a little bit different of a video. I'm going to be sharing with you a haul of stuff. Um, this is just recent eBay listings that Eric and I have gotten up. I apologize, I do not feel like being on camera today. I just, I'm not feeling the greatest, and but I wanted to still make a video for you guys. So I'm just going to share everything with you this way. So I apologize, but um, just for this one time. Uh, the first thing that I have listed here is a Lefton Miss Dainty Wall Pocket. This is really cute. I won this at an auction, um, and she's just really precious. Ceramic, obviously you can hang her on the wall. Um, I did list her for a buy it now of $45.99. So I think she has one watcher already, so I have a feeling she'll go fairly quickly. I also started to list a bunch of my Polly Pockets um, last summer. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm saying this. But last summer, Eric and I had gotten a bunch of Polly Pockets at a yard sale. And I'm just getting around to listing them, going through them, making sure, you know, they're all complete and all of that good stuff. Um, so I would say, like, I got a whole tote full. And, I mean, I probably paid less than $50 for the tote. It was just <laughs> insane. So this one here is called the Polly Pocket. Um, pull out playhouse <laughs> say that five times really fast um, but it's kind of like a what looks like a jewelry box and um, we got the mirror here and um, all of these pieces slide out and you can use them um, you know as the as the playhouse the figures are in there there's a drawer there and then there's also um, a back part here where you can um, store stuff as well so it's it's a pretty awesome little play set and it is 100% complete um, as far as Polly Pockets go like the older ones um, you know you'll get more for them if they are complete sets however you can still sell pieces to those sets um, sometimes for really good money depending if you know someone's trying to complete a piece they already have whether that's a collector or a reseller who wants to complete a set to make more off of the um, play set so this one here I listed as a buy it now for $69.99 so this is kind of random this is a baggie full of Cabbage Patch Kids diapers um, these are Cabbage Patch Kids branded diapers. Um, people like to use these for their Cabbage Patch Kids dolls. And these do sell pretty decently, especially if you have a fair amount of them and a lot. And there's actually 11 diapers in this bag. I picked these up at a yard, so I think I paid a dollar for the bag. And I have these listed as a buy it now for $49.99. There's definitely going to be a lot of like vintage um, pieces in here as far as like toys and stuff. I got these um, vintage gremlin stickers and these are, there's four sheets in here of these stickers. They're still sealed, uh, never been used by Hallmark. And I won like a shoebox full of vintage stickers at an auction one day. And I mean, I cleaned up on those. Like I still have more to list, but even just the ones that I've already sold, I mean, I made so much money back on them. I mean, I was selling some sheets of stickers for like a hundred dollars. It was insane. Um, these ones here I have listed as a buy it now for $19.99. I have this vintage Valentine's Day card. I'm actually still selling Valentine's Day cards. I sold one just um, like a couple days ago, really. Um, so I still have plenty to list, but I do have plenty, um, you know, for sale. This one here says, I hope I'm on the right track and asking you to be mine. I'd train you to be true if you would be my Valentine. And this one has like a little, you can pull this little section. So like the train goes in and out and then there's like a little heart tab there so I thought that one was really cute since it's like mechanical and it does have a signature on and that doesn't always necessarily matter especially if people are just using these to display with 
Um, and I typically list my Valentine's Day cards at $9.99, buy it now. So that's what I have this one listed for. This one, and this is another mechanical one. Um, this one, this one was made in Canada. And it's got this really cute mouse on and he just moves like this. I mean, how stinking cute is that? I love the ones that move. So like the vintage Valentine's Day cards that move, people refer to them as mechanical. Like they have like these little um, pieces obviously on them. And this is so cute. Um, whoever these belonged to originally kept, like they taped a little part of the letter, like the letter on the envelope as to the date. Like they got it on February 13th and the date on there is 1946. So I think that's so cute. Um, and this one I also have listed as a buy it now for $9.99. All right, so this purse I won at an auction and it's, well, one, it's adorable because it's like a stuffed plush shaped frog it still has its tags it's by a company called jag but the really awesome thing is that this has a um little thing inside of it so when you move it it actually sounds like the frog is croaking there we go there it's going <laughs> how cute is that oh my gosh i love it so obviously you can't fit like much in the actual purse itself but it's still really cute so um this like i said i won at an auction and i listed this one for a buy it now of 39 dollars 99 i got this little doll she's like a rattle type of doll made out of a, like a harder plastic and she came with some stuff that I won at the auction. I'm not even entirely sure what I won her with originally. Um, she's marked USA on the back of her and I have her listed as a buy it now for $12.99. I got this vintage doll. This is a herself the elf doll. Um, she's from I believe 1983 I want to say. She is in her original box, but the box was open. Um, I'm just going to leave her in here. I'm not going to take her out, but um, she's still like on the back of her cardboard and everything. Um, so the doll wasn't actually played with, but you know, obviously the box was opened. I did get her, I believe at a yard sale. I'd say I paid maybe $4 tops for her and I have her listed as a buy it now for $29.99. Eric and I went to the antique store um, the other day and I ended up finding these little Kittles doll play sets. I am going to get these out because they're so adorable and I kind of want to play with them while I'm talking about them. Um, and the booth that I got these out of was having a really good sale. So I ended up paying, I'd say, um, maybe around, not even... Uh, I wrote it down. I did write it down somewhere. I feel like it was around $50 for them, like a piece. And these are actually complete and in really nice, clean condition. So this one is the Little Kittles um, Little Miss Muffet. So here she is, the doll. She comes with her little tuffet, <laughs> her little pillow. Um, she comes with the spider who sat down beside her and this is so cute. It's got these little pipe cleaner legs and just such a precious little face. I absolutely love that. Um, she comes with her curds and whey as well as the little spoon and then she also comes with her storybook. So this is like a like literally a little storybook you can read of the you know little Miss Muffet story and then I mean oh my gosh the illustrations in this are so precious and then on the back it has some pictures of some other little kittles and things that you could purchase so I absolutely love these I think they're so cute um and they are hard to find complete so Little Miss Muffet I have listed as a buy it now for $129.99.
I also found Little Bo Peep. I think there was also a Snow White, but that one wasn't complete. And in all honesty, I'm pretty sure I have a Snow White <laughs> one already here that I haven't listed yet. I don't think mine's complete either. So maybe I should have gotten it so that I could complete <laughs> the one that I have. Um, but this one's Little Bo Peep. Again, she's very clean, um, in very nice condition. She comes with her little... Um, shepherd's hook here and then she also has her little sheep so and then as well as her storybook too so again so cute I absolutely love the graphics in there so little Bo Peep I have listed as a buy it now for $99.99 I have this entire bag full of um, strawberry shortcake McDonald's toys. So these ones came out in 2006. And this is the complete set um, of all of them. I paid $10 for these. <laughs> I still have the price tag on the, the bag here um, at a yard sale. So it's the complete set of strawberry shortcake toys. And then they had, um, how many was this here? One, two, three, four, five of the McDonald's Happy Meal toy bags that they would have come in. So this was, I guess, the girl's toy um, back in 2006. And then on the back was the boy toy. It was called Dragon Booster. So I just added those in with the, the strawberry shortcake toys. Like I said, I paid $10 for it all, and I listed these on auction with a starting price of $29.99 for all of it. I listed this Monster High doll. Um, I've actually already sold this one before, so this is the second time I've had this one. Her name is Sarah Screams. I just love the look of her, like with her eyes all whited out. Um, she does have her purse and her boots. So she's really cool and like I said I already did sell her once before. I have her listed as a buy it now for $49.99. This Monster High doll, this is Draculaura and she is um, the Gloom Beach doll. She's wearing her bathing suit and little um, sandals. I absolutely love the shoes that the Monster High dolls wear. They're so cool. Um, this one here I have listed as a buy it now for $24.99. They both came from a yard sale where I purchased like a tote full of Monster High dolls. Um, I got another Polly Pocket. This one again is a vintage Polly Pocket. This one is called Pony Ride and Show. And it's kind of shaped like a um, horseshoe. And when you open it, it's got everything in. It is complete. Um, it has the two figures, so it would come with two figures, it would have come with a little trophy, and then when you open up the tent here, um, it turns into like a little grandstand area for the dolls to sit at to watch the pony in the middle. So there's a crank on the side, let me get him like sat on here properly. So when you crank this, he like moves around and like bucks around and you can put this Polly Pocket um, on the pony. Her legs actually like, well, she stays on, but um, yeah, not very well. I don't know if she would like happen to click down or anything, but when you crank that, the pony goes like super crazy. And then when you press this, it makes like a horse noise. So again, 100% complete, which helps helps it out a lot um, as far as, you know, resale value goes. So this one here I have listed as a buy it now for $79.99. Um, if you do come across any of the vintage Polly Pockets, definitely there is a website to help identify the different Polly Pockets um, that there are. And definitely keep an eye out to make sure like if it would happen to take batteries like because some of them have lights that work some of them have sound that type of thing so definitely like make sure you're checking those things before you list them so people know you know that those aspects of the Polly Pocket still works. This here is a vintage Cabbage Patch Kids um, baby blanket. 
Um, this one has, you know, like a print of the Cabbage Patch Kids all over, kind of like a balloon print. Um, I did pick this up at a yard sale. I'd say I paid a dollar for it. And I have it listed for a buy it now of $15.99. Here's another vintage Polly Pocket um, playset. This one is called Cuddly Kitty. It's shaped like a little kitty cat head. And this is what it looks like when you open it. Um, and this one's complete as well. There's the Polly figure and the little kitty cat figure. And, you know, all the little Polly Pocket pieces, like, they all do something. Like, this one you can, like, tuck her in. Um, this little piece comes out. It's They're just so cute. I love Polly Pockets when I was younger. I didn't have many of them, but they were just so much fun. And this one here I have listed as a buy it now for $49.99. So vintage Polly Pockets are definitely hot. People want those toys back. This one is a really weird piece. Um, this came from an auction. Again, like I think I won it with some other stuff, but it's called the Ronald Reagan Jack in the Box. And this little paper here just kind of like talks about how it was made. It was made um, by an artist named Alex. What is his name? He's based in England. Um, no, not Alex. Andrew Hinks. So this one is numbered 316. Um, he signed it here and he made it in 1984. So <laughs> it's precisely what it says. It's a Ronald Reagan Jack in the Box. So this was handmade, artisan made. Um, when you flip this little latch here, <laughs> out pops Ronald Reagan. <laughs> this is so weird. But like, look at how detailed the face is. It's really cool. It's it's creepy, which I love. I mean, it's definitely weird. You have to admit it's weird. <laughs> um, but you know, it was handmade, it's signed, it's numbered, it's unique. So like, this is perfect for anyone who either collects Ronald Reagan merchandise, presidential merchandise, or just like, you know, appreciates the obscure, pieces out in the world <laughs> so yeah this one's pretty cool and then you just like stuff him back in there and, and latch him back up so that he can he can creep on out again <laughs> so this one here i have listed on auction with a starting price of 29 dollars and 99 cents i recently picked this up at a yard sale just last week i'm pretty sure i paid 10 cents for it um it is a vintage pewter ice cream scoop um, and it says Kemp's here on the handle and you know one vintage ice cream scoops people do collect them um, also people collect um, just ice cream advertising type of pieces uh, so definitely like when you are out and about and you're looking at stuff you have to kind of think in the back of your mind like what who all is going to potentially be interested in buying your product? You know what I mean? So you have ice cream people, you have advertising people. Um, I mean, even people who collect pewter pieces might be interested in something like this. So like I said, I paid about 10 cents for it and I have it listed on auction with a starting price of $29.99. I have this really cute uh, red leather Dooney and Burke um, wristlet. So this is like a, a pebbled leather. We have an attached key ring here that you can like tuck into the wristlet. You have the wristlet strap. You have this... Um, key ring on this side as well so you could take this off it doesn't even have to be on the wristlet uh, but it's all red pebbled leather and then this is what the inside looks like I know it's gonna be hard hard to see that but and like I said you can tuck this in the inside I picked this up at a yard sale and I paid I do believe four dollars for it and I listed it on auction with a starting price of $19.99. I have another Polly Pocket um, compact. I have so many. Like, I didn't want to put, like, all of my Polly Pockets in this video because I didn't want you guys to get all Polly Pocketed out. Um, but this one here is called the Beach Party Compact. And this one is also 100% complete. It's got both figures as well as the little um, jet ski. 
And then this one, when you like press down on the umbrella, you kind of have to really whack it. The volleyball goes across the, the net. So, and this one was called Beach Party. I have this one listed for a buy it now of $69.99. This here is a Betty Boop figure. Um, it's brand new, still sealed. Um, she it has like a little doggy right here, and then there's a sign behind her that says Dangerous Curves. So she's just a little figurine and still sealed. She came from an auction, and we have her listed as a buy it now for $49.99. I got these two pewter and brass cats. These are so cute. They definitely have that whimsical look to them. They're little, they have little neckties on them and their eyes. So the neckties and their eyes are brass and then the rest of them are like a pewter. So they're really adorable. Um, I did win these at an auction and I don't know if I won them like together just at just these or if they were with something else I, I don't remember it's been a while um, but I listed them together as a buy it now for $19.99 so at the yard sale where I got all the Polly Pockets I also got a bunch of Charmkins toys um I loved Charmkins when I was younger it was just like a small they were like little small toys but they were scented a lot of toys back in the 80s were scented um which i absolutely love because you only have to take one whiff of something like that and it just takes you back so i only listed two of the things but i have a bunch of charmkins toys um a lot of little my little pony charmkins and things like that when i was doing research looking them up currently um, Charmkins aren't selling super duper well at the moment. Um, so I'm going to hang on to them for a little while because they will come back. Um, you know, they had their heyday, uh, a few years ago when I was like doing my research and they kind of cooled off again right now. But like I said, I'm going to just hang on to them and hopefully like the prices will go back up because quite frankly, I don't mind hanging on to them just so like I can smell them again. But um, these are just like the little sets. And how do you even open these when you press, press this in, they pop open. So there's like a little scene in the background. And then this is the little charmkin and he comes off of um, his thingy. And they all have like these little um, things at the top because they're like little charms and then they have holes on the bottom and you can like intermix them into different play sets there was like jewelry you could put them on I mean there was all sorts of different stuff so super duper cute um, and it's it still smells really nicely so this one was called Macintosh Bear and I have him listed as a buy it now for $29.99 and then this one I also have. This one is called Purple Primrose. And this is what she looks like. So she's just a cute little like um, fairy looking charmkin. Super duper cute. And then like a little, little play set there. So I also have this one listed. No, I have this one listed a little higher. She's listed as a buy it now for $39.99. I have this vintage strawberry shortcake um, gooseberry plush. Um, so this still has its collar on. So sometimes when you find these, um, the collar's missing. So she still has that. I got her at a yard sale. I'd say I paid about $2 for her. And I have it listed as a buy it now for $24.99. Also got another Polly Pocket. This one is probably one of my favorites. I think it's so cute. Um, this one's called the Jeweled Forest. So when you open up this one, again, 100% complete. Um, it just looks like a little forest. Uh, there's a squirrel figure in there, the Polly Pocket figure. And then there's like a little mushroom in the center with um, a green jewel on the inside. So typically um, when you find these compacts, sometimes the mushroom's missing. So um, 
it's actually there for this one so it's complete and i have this listed as a buy it now for 79 dollars 99 i have some more vintage stickers these are from 1979 brand new still sealed um they are called terry tune stickers they're puffy so there are six stickers on the sheet. I have these listed as a buy it now for $9.99. Then I also have these vintage stickers. These ones are from 1979 as well. And these are Buck Rogers stickers. These also are puffy. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stickers on there. Brand new, still sealed. Um, and these I have listed as a buy it now for $19.99. This is an Ever After High doll. So she was in the tote with um, the Monster High dolls. There were a couple of the Ever After High dolls as well. Um, her name is called Melody Piper. And I have her listed as a buy it now for $22.99. I also have a mini Boyd's Bear. Um, this one is wearing a little sweater that says smile. Um, I got this at a yard sale for 50 cents and I have it listed as a buy it now for $49.99. So the mini Boyd's Bears, um, I feel like they're cooling down a little bit. Um, they were selling for real good money and I mean they still are, but I definitely feel like they're, they're cooling down at the moment, but I'm still gonna pick them up if I see them. I also have this vintage Tootsie Toy car. So it's a metal, metal car uh, marked Tootsie Toy made in the USA. It's yellow with a red, red top. Um, trying to think of where this came from and I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but I have it listed as a buy it now for $9.99. I just recently got this Cloisonne um, enameled pumpkin little jar, uh, like trinket dish. I actually sold one of these before in the past, um, but we happened upon one at a auction. So we went ahead and grabbed that. I paid $1 for it. And I have it listed on auction with a starting price of $19.99. I also, this is the last Polly Pocket that I'm gonna show in this video, but this one's called Precious Puppies. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So again, 100% complete. We have the Polly figure as well as the two dogs and they're like a, they have flocking on them. So they're kind of like soft to the touch. And I have this listed as a buy it now for $49.99 for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, um, I'll be back back on camera next time around. My throat's just a little bit <laughs> a little bit sore. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time.